Hi, this is Raj Shekhar from technolamp.co.in. In this video, we will discuss about how to install a complete Java programming language into our system. Let us see how to do this. First, go to Google and search with the JDK download and you will get some sort of links. Select the first one which is Oracle. Now we have a variety of options here, Java SC, Java E, Java ME, you can uh, download any other software that's, uh, that was available from the Oracle. But now I just want to download Java SC, which is JDK package. Just click. Now you went to the download section. And we have uh, to accept, accept license agreement. And then select the appropriate version and based on your uh, operating system here we have windows 64 and windows 86 this is nothing but x86 means 32 bit operating system x64 means a 64 bit operating system so you can select any of these files uh, but this is just a uh, demos and sample downloads but you just now need to download the original software so we just have to choose any one option from these two options so I'm just my, my computer is x64 system that's a 64 bit operating system so I'm selecting this option to download into my computer right the download is completed now let's try to install it I'm just clicking on open button and you'll get some sort of uh, simple buttons to install the software I'm just clicking on next button and here you can find the installation path, the C program files, Java, JDK. But we need to remember this path for the future reference. It might take some time. But here it's showing 64-bit software. Actually, we have a different kind of variation between 32-bit and 64-bit. If you are using 32-bit computer, 32-bit operating system, then you must go for the 32-bit. And 64-bit doesn't support for the 32-bit operating system. <coughs> Again, I'm clicking on next button. Now done. Successfully installed Java SC Development Kit 7 Update 40. Just close it. Now I completed my installation process for the Java JDK package. Now let us set the path for the inst uh, for completing the installation. Right, I, I told you to remember the path. I just, I'm just entering into my program files, and then I'm entering into Java folder, and then you can find JDK 1.7.0 underscore 440 and enter into the bin folder so this is the entire path we need to en enter into the environment variables so i'm just copying the entire path and then right click and properties and you can find system advanced settings so from that go to the advanced tab computer name hardware and advanced we have various tabs here just go to the advanced tab and then select the environment variables from there so over there we can find system variable called path just edit and please don't change anything in this path because it is needed for the different other files so i'm just entering semicolon at the end of that particular path and then pasting it and pasting the java path and click on ok 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 that's it so just let us test whether java is installed or not a simple testing process to do that just go to command prompt and then select java c it's a compilation process compilation command for the java programming language so it was completed its installation okay let us see how it can done from other folders other other drives let us say i'm entering into the d drive and again 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 i am testing it java c done it you can go for another drive That's it. So you can execute 
your java files under any folder in any drive no need to set class path for each and every time when you open the command prompt this is very long process but this process uh, simplifies the complete installation process thank you